All right, here we go. Welcome to fucking FIFA 14 West Ham career mode. Oh, man. I'm hoping to fucking close out a damn Premier League title with West Ham. This shit is definitely fucking kit clashing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tar Heel Doom guy, after being injured for so long, makes his long away to return to the squad. The player. The manager's been here forever. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. Today it's Aston Villa against West Ham United. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. Can they do that? Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. So without further ado, we take you to Aston Villa. Here's your commentary team, Mark and Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me is Alan Smith. Hello, yeah, Martin. Great to be here. Andy Carroll, now he's got to 17 goals for the season. We're past the halfway mark. It's, it's a good effort, and I must say he's been a, an impressive finisher. He has. I mean, he's carried the team forward, really, with his goals. He's been the main provider, and he's an important piece of his side. How do you assess this West Ham United side, Alan? It's been, uh, it's been plain sailing for them up until this point. But you know what? When you see yourself at the top of the table at this stage of the season, whether they can actually go all the way to the finishing line and whether they've doubt their title credentials, I just wonder whether that's going to be the case with this side. Making charge of this game, Liam Kima. Yep, Kim Zayek had to go to the bench. Definitely gonna be one of the substitutes. We're gonna be playing fucking Memphis Depay out on the fucking midfield. Should be a good fucking choice. And the opponents come in stronger. It's Troy. Interception. He has refused the offer of a new contract, but he is playing. They're going to use him while he's here. Well, it seems to be a question of money, and uh, he's got a good attitude, though. This God, so I damn it! He's uh, going get fucking clear. Today. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. On the attack here, he's got the ball well found, and that's straightforward for a goalkeeper of this calibre. Goal news from Hull. It's a goal for Southampton. It's been scored by Pablo Osvaldo. The ball was bouncing around in the area. The defence failed to clear, and he was on hand to stab home. Eight minutes played. One Damn, minute. I keep fucking Jeez, pressing Dottim Stark because I'm used to being the fucking best. James Tompkins. You can't go to West Ham if you're of a certain age without thinking of their contribution. <laughs> To England's only World Cup win as we speak, 1966. And the late, great Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, and Martin Peters are still around, of course, were key, key members of that England's success. Yeah, they were reminded of that, aren't you? When you drive in with the statue of the boys uh, on the road there, and uh, Trevor Brooking as well is a big part of the football club, so they remember the old boys. He will be determined to do a bit better than in his recent games. He is better than the oh. promises have shown. Surely he is. Yeah, I think uh, the manager rightly so. He's given him a, another chance, but At no room to make any plays. Has been low. Aston Villa, who can 
quick with Bowman. They've got it absolutely right. No margin for error, Alan. No, quite right. I mean, how many times do we see a penalty given there? But he, he was so quick. He was so brave. Cohen, excellent on the ball. It's Cohen. News of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McInally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 19 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. And what we see with this uh, away team here, Alan, is that they've won four out of their five league games. They lost one, but they've got 12 points. Yeah, and as a result of an outcome here, you know, they'd be hoping, they'd be expecting to win. I don't like to use the word panic, but I think it's appropriate here. Leandro Bakuna. Spiderman. Still going, still striving to attack. Sometimes it's as admirable as it is. God, you can just have the ball for fucking more than five seconds. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Arsenal. 24 minutes, please. 2 0. And the shot's off. The chance not taken. Well, the game went on, but I think we're going to go back to that earlier Damn incident. It's and bitch. a booking for. Player. The referee did play the advantage, which was good to see. Yeah, you could see that they had spotted the incident and he wasn't going to let him get away with it. Just to confirm what Alan McAnally was trying to tell you there before I interrupted him, Arsenal have scored. The score is now 2 0. Well, just looking back over the last five good games of the home team, four points. No oh, go! Side from a, a difficult situation. The opposition back off, they could be in trouble. And the ball gets to here. Winning the target for West Ham United here. But they know it won't be a simple task. Motherfuckers, don't get fucking forward fast enough. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Oh, come on! This fucking game, somehow, I hate it. Yeah, they will. It might be a little bit different, obviously, coming away. It will not be as easy, I'm sure. The defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Dangerous moment! Finally. Just at the right moment for him. Might be a big goal in this football match. Well, the stat officials have been proved right here, haven't they? If you keep shooting, you're going to keep, you're going to score, aren't you? The percentages tell you that. And that certainly happened in this match. Yeah. When you create as many chances as they have, yeah, I mean, they've always had the card, but they're going to get a few, and it's been fantastic. Well, it was a good set piece, Martin, but defensively, you have to ask one or two questions. They just weren't like it exactly there. A ball of hope. They cut it out. Go forward, goddamn. Leandro Bakuna. That 
Bulls are trying to win back the try they've lost possession. Andy Carroll almost lost his balance, but didn't. Downing. Every time I see an opportunity, you just get cut off. All the fucking time. So it don't matter. I'm sick of this goddamn game's bullshit. Real pressure on the players in a match like this. At half time, they're coping with the pressure and giving us a very tight Well, The West Ham fans in good voice at half time, having seen a good first half performance from their team. Second half underway. Fuck it, bitch. Doing this every single fucking time. To it. He committed himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Mark Noble. It looked very good indeed, but the move was broken down. Alan, what do you think about his form recently? He's been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that we've become accustomed to with East Lan. I don't know what's going on. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a third goal for Arsenal. 51 minutes to 3 0. Cheers, Alan. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Can't get anything forward. Well, they're in a good position here. Is, uh, approach and got the ball. It's gone out of that player, trying to get out of the way. Managers decided to make this change. He's going to take off a player who has been booked, but come on, they have more fucking precise fucking throwing, bitch. Get fucking forward. There's a cross up here from this position. His teammates tearing into the box. <laughs> this this game does everything in its power to get under my skin. I'm I'm sick of it. <laughs> Andy Carroll. They're hard to find good goal scorers, but they look as though they've got one here. Can I have the ball for five fucking seconds? Five fucking seconds! He does contribute to to the team with his work rate. That's offside Andy Carroll. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. Andreas Feynman. Cohen. Motherfuckers. It's just... Impervious on fucking defense all the fucking time, and it's just annoying. Finally. I might need to get fucking forward. Real contributor to this team in his first season at the club. Damn. Yeah, he has been. It's been worth the efforts and the money it took to bring him to the football club. Well, he will say that the ball should have come quicker. He's offside. Aston Villa pleased with the way they're defending. The opposition may be not so pleased with the way they're running offside all the time. Yeah, it just takes a cool head and a little bit of range to time the pass. How have I not gotten the ball? Fucking bullshit. Corner for Aston Villa. A 
ਗੁੰਮ ਲਹੋ keeper Charles Jonke what a performance by West Ham in this match most people thought it would be tight some thought even the hammers would have problems and won't be able to win it win it they're winning it by mile no get fucking ah oh. and now I'm fucking running into each other i love to see that the referee playing the advantage I'm fucking never gonna get a fucking stoppage play. Shoot, come on! Fucking Christ, why do you take forever to shoot? Fuck it, I'm slide tackling his ass. He's Fuck it. I need a fucking stoppage. Three changes all at the same time. It's quite a drastic decision from the manager. Tackle here. This is an opportunity to break out. Now can he score? Oh, somebody in the way. High scores. It's been an excellent performance and another goal to just confirm that. Yeah, this goal's about, but all the players look just the strikers, so it's a, a good opportunity that doesn't come along to them. Well, I think all good teams are ruthless, Martin. This team have been exactly that there. They wouldn't let up. They've been salting the wounds. West Ham have won it. They've won it in good style. Well, the game is over. And in truth, it was quite disappointing, simply because it was so one-sided. Well, it was, but you've got to admire the professionalism of the team in charge because they kept the foot on the gas. They showed no mercy at all. So it's full time and the final score, 3 0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. And now we hand over to Mike West in the studio. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Arsenal 4, Crystal Palace 0. Aston Villa, nil. West Ham United, three. Hull City, nil. Southampton, two. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain West Ham United with 67 points. In second, Chelsea with 60 points. In third, Manchester United with 54 points. In fourth, Liverpool 
with 52 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Manchester City with 45 points. In sixth, Tottenham Hotspur with 42 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, Arsenal with 38 points. In eighth, Everton with 38 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Hull City with 15 points, but only behind on goal difference. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Crystal Palace with 15 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, Cardiff City with 15 points. All right, uh, fucking bottom, rotate all these City players out. With 18 points. Fifth bottom, Southampton with 21 points. Really at any risk time. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's West Ham United against Swansea City. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. Can they do that? Of course, the lights are beaming down this evening. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. It's West Ham United, we're all having a good look at now. It surprised us all, hasn't it, to see this team leading the division at this stage after quite a number of games. And I just wonder whether they can sustain it. It would be one heck of an achievement if they could. But it's, uh, it's there for them, three points today, and uh, who knows, the early way's up. Our referee for this game is Ian Lowcroft. Everything ready for the kickoff. Britain. Good defending. Straight in sharply. Ready to yeah, so it. Goal news from Southampton. It's a goal for Southampton. It's been scored by Mickey Lambert. No defender could get near him as he jinked his way into the box and hit the target. Three minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. And he's got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. The opposition back off, they could be in trouble. And the ball gets to here. Damn it, Savovich. Leon Britton. We'll stop the attack now. Everybody stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. The Vinicius. Surely he's going to score here. Oh! Fuck he cry. Always oh, fucking shot in nerve. Swansea City to be up in the Premier League. I just wonder how much of a blow it is to them because Cardiff possibly have the, the greater history in South Wales to Swansea. And uh, now they're going to meet in the Premier League. And Swansea, instead of flying the flag totally for... He's got the goal! Well, that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And of course, the usual fucking AI just pulls a fucking long-range bomb out of their ass. ...proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. And that is exactly where he would have loved to have put it. Maybe it was a bit fortunate it flew up there from his point of view, but it was exactly the right spot. Here's a shot now. He really connected. Well done, the keeper. The West Ham with a corner. Plenty of routines. Trying to open up the opposition from it. They need to do that. Carroll! Oh, well, here's a shot. Oh, he didn't hit the middle of the ball there, and he's pulled the shot. Oh, it's a scruffy contact from him, and uh, 
There you go. Got it. Pull one back. Oh, all my fuckers just don't want to cooperate. Just the uh, the British stage, as we must call it, but the world stage. Yeah, I mean, the, the fans, the respective fans, have been looking at the fixture list, weren't they? Licking the lips at those two fixtures, looking forward to them for weeks in advance, and uh, you know there'll be there'll be games to attend. The uh, they'll be pretty lively, I would imagine. Ha! Ah, can I just fucking get a ball where I can face the fucking goal? This fucking game! God damn it, these fucking defenders just run motherfuckers down like they're just I think on goddamn molasses or something. Goal from uh, Everton, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Everton. 30 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Unmarked now, he's lost his marker. Comes in with a tackle. Here's Taylor. Britain. Each other, those two. Chica Florence. It's a good challenge by West Ham to get the ball back. Go work. Fucking. No, no fucking. Game always making me pass to the wrong person. I'm sick of it. Get the ball! God damn! Goddamn game is a piece of shit.
I hate this fucking game. <laughs> they, they get only get one shot, one go, bunch of motherfuckers. They're fucking forced it in. Go forward. Damn it, son of a bitch. Off. Can't even turn around without getting fucking stripped of the ball. Have the ball for five fucking seconds. My oh, God. Well, they're in a good position here. This has been a great performance from this forward, who is in very fine form. It's a joy to watch a player in that kind of form, and with that kind of ability, we would pay every day of the week to see him. Not easy to get the ball like this in midfield. You need a player with a bright mind, and he's done that, this player. He committed himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Carroll. God damn, it's fucking shit. Somebody get near me! God damn, quit fucking me in 20 miles away from me, expecting to get a fucking pass. Really big clearance by the goalkeeper, just whacking it away. 
this player who's been substituted earlier, looks as though he was a really good signing. I mean, week in, week out, he's been 7, 8 out of 10, hasn't he? Yeah, and, and the way he ducktailed with his teammates today, it uh, really just bode well for the future. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. No ball. Well, they've lost the ball. Taylor. Jordan Spence. Onto the attack now. God damn it. I can't have the ball. I really can't have the fucking ball. How is this fucking team scoring so many fucking goals against fucking Swansea City? Fucking God! Y'all motherfuckers never get fucking forward! Team. I saw that coming in the nick of time. It's been a penalty involving Southampton. It's a penalty for Southampton. Up steps Ricky Lambert. He's put the ball down on the spot. Stop fucking running so damn hard. Pull back. by the goalkeeper guessing the right way. Gets his hand to it. He's in here. God fucking damn it! Looking all the time to open up the opposition, but I think we saw it coming that time. Get the ball! That shit was fucking embarrassing. They literally had three shots, three fucking goals. I hate this fucking game. Well, that's all from us here. Let's join Mike West for the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Everton 3, Aston Villa 0. Southampton 1, Arsenal 1. West Ham United 2, Swansea City 3. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain West Ham United with 67 points. In second, Chelsea with 63 points. In third, Manchester United with 57 points. In fourth, Liverpool with 55 points. With a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Manchester City with 45 points. With a game in hand on the team above. In sixth, Tottenham Hotspur with 42 points. In seventh, Everton with 41 points. In eighth, Newcastle United with 41 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Old City with 15 points, but only behind on goal difference. That was the worst game of fucking football I've ever seen fucking played by any fucking team. They should all fucking kill themselves. Third bottom, Cardiff City with 15 points. Fourth bottom, Stoke City with 18 points. Fifth bottom, Southampton with 22 points.
welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the FA Cup fifth round. It's West Ham United against Wigan Athletic. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, we've got 16 clubs now left in the FA Cup at this fifth round stage. Yeah, and always a bit of magic associated with this competition as it progresses. Wembley gets a little bit closer. FA Cup football, always a drill. Fifth round tie here, and this is the action starting now. The referee blows his whistle. As always, wonderful atmosphere in this competition, and uh, getting closer and closer to Wembley. What they've got in this game, of course, is two real rivals, and that can bring the best out of both of them. Oh, fucking Christ, why? Why can't you just have the fucking ball? This match is Grant Lindemann. Oh, Look. There, given that he's been hurt for some time and could have re-ended himself playing today. Yeah, he needs game time now, so the longer he can stay on the pitch, the better for him. Now, James Tompkins. That is a tackle and a half. Right before I fucking pass it. Nope, you're stripped of the fucking ball. I'm sick of this bullshit. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Into a quite a dangerous position there. Shoot it. Come on. God damn it. To win the FA Cup, beating Manchester City in the final was extraordinary, but to be relegated so shortly afterwards, uh, it, it took a lot of the pleasure away, I'm sure. Well, it did, but you listen to the fans and a lot of them feel that it was what The referee asserting his authority here early on, giving that free kick. Yeah, just to go back to Wigan, and then that extraordinary high and low, winning the FA Cup, beating Manchester City as well. Uh, and then being relegated just a few days later. Yeah, I mean, it's bittersweet, isn't it, for the fans, but didn't they play well in that final? I mean, thoroughly deserved winners, and that's a day they can always look back on. Alan McManaman. Thomas Ron, he's into the challenge. Positioning and the interception is made. Come on! Well done, the defenders. Good organization there in the face of a promising move. Oh, there's still a chance after the save. Blocked everything I fucking do. Got the tackle in. And the opposition will get a throw here because they're trying to play it into the wide areas. Can't just have the fucking ball. I want to shoot myself. I can't win with any fucking team now. Get bored. God damn, you take forever to get forward. Could be dangerous. Here's the cross. No ball. He's still got an opportunity here after the goalkeeper parried it. No ball. James Tompkins. No, oh, quit fucking jumping over the motherfucker, get the ball. Get 
Get fucking ah! Fuck Fucking finally. That's a chance to attack in numbers. Gonna be a goal, surely. You just fucking get the stop. Now here's a chance for a counter attack. Can they make anything of it? Espinosa. Maloney. Makes a challenge here. Thank you for the fucking raid. This fucking this game's give me fucking headache. Yep. Somebody knows how to fucking play goddamn soccer. Two one. I can't fucking believe we have to sweat it out against Wigan Athletic. Please. Fucking game. And it was sent in in the first place. Half time now. And a 2 1 is the score at the break. When we look back at the end of the game rather than at half time, that goal right on the break here might just be a turning point. We just, we just lost to Swansea City for no fucking reason. Swansea City had three shots and three goals. We had nine shots. And then we'll be back with your commentary team. Fuck this game. These sides really setting about each other in the quest for a place in the FA Cup quarterfinal. Not, not just shots on target. Straight up just fucking shots. First half should be too much different actually. Down here. Gonna cross it. The defenders just managed to deal with that. Can I get the fucking ball to where I can take advantage on offense? None of this chesting it down bullshit. Sorry, the fucking animations. It's just. They're just designed to screw me over. Come on. Get over. Get fuck. Get forward. Anyway, I never even get a chance to fucking like 
make any moves on the damn fucking defender. Just nope, you're instantly stripped. I, just, I don't get this game sometimes. It just fucking feels scripted as hell. Meanwhile, CPU just prime fucking Ronaldinho fucking just beats every goddamn defender until they fucking score like three goals and three fucking shots. I'll shoot it. Finally. 3-1. That's like the only times I can score on this fucking session. The fucking goalkeeper is goddamn just on his fucking ass. Go, get bored. Get the fucking ball. Just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. They're hard to find good goal scorers, but they look as though they've got one here. And he's really impressed in his first season at this football club. Yeah, and even when he's not scoring, he can just contribute to, to the team with his work rate. Damn it, fucking overthrowing people. They decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. And the offside. Come on. Look them all. Damn it. Now I'm going to sub out. Marner, Sayak. Somebody, Marner. Change for both teams here. Is it for the challenge? God damn it, so possible to defend. They've nicked it back. Chance is here. Needs to be quick. I rarely ever get a fucking chance to clear anything because boards are all over my ass all the fucking time. It's just, this game is no fun. Oh my 
my fucking god. Up on the left hand side, uh, time the challenge. Not noble, time is ticking away here. Four minutes oh, to go. Fuck it, come on. I mean, fuck. Go forward, come on. Yeah, Always block all oh, fucking time. I'm getting sick of the box. Shoot it. Association Challenge Cup. Chelsea 3, Everton 1, Hull City 1, Manchester United 2, Tottenham Hotspur 3, Sheffield Wednesday 0, West Ham United 3, Wigan Athletic 1. Fucking game, I swear. If it fucking screws me in this game, I'm just restarting. I don't care. I'm not getting screwed out of a league title like that. Oh, I get the fucking tackle. Come 
Oh, somebody get fucking forward. section of West Ham fans that feel he doesn't play the West Ham way. I don't know whether you can always hark back to the days of the 60s and what have you. Um, it, it is about survival first and foremost and taking things on from there and he's a past master at that. Chelsea have got possession back. Excellent positioning and the interception is made. Looking for Mikel. Looked very good indeed, but the move was broken down. Can I please fucking leave the midfield? God damn. Get bored! Is this quite clearly a free kick? Oh fuck it, fuck it. Goddamn lagging behind way too much. I just get some fucking help on offense. God damn. So he's given him a, another chance, but you see, over the last couple of weeks, confidence has been low. Finally, fucking scored. this season to go on and on, doesn't he? He's got 19 goals now. Oh, he's been absolutely spectacular, and uh, some of them have been uh, wonderful strikes from distance. Uh, 
Why was that shot so fucking weak? God. Fucking secure the damn ball. Fucking boss, I swear. Ping pongs all the way over the fucking fields. Hands them a fucking goal. Diminutis. Andy Carroll. Options available on the bench for the away side today. Return pass. It's back. It's their ball again. And good at protecting play. Opportunity here. Shoot it! God damn! God, can't just get it fucking clear. Can no motherfuckers get fucking forward faster? Only he knows when it's right. He might be feeling his body. But, you know, you need to think long and hard before making such a, a big decision. It's back. It's their ball again. We're good at protecting play. Got the ball now under control and a chance to move themselves for Get on the pitch. News of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McInally. It's the second goal from Manchester United. 58 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Down. 
Ricky Wellhead. God damn it! My fuckers didn't make an effort. Goddamn, get open. I can't even get turned around. Uh, somebody fucking raping me for the ball. What is that? I didn't even fucking move the stick like that. Turn around and make the fucking pass. Don't fucking do the stupid back heel bullshit. Nothing to split the two sides. So when you're looking for somebody to kick out the hole, we have the pass, we have the goal. Oscar. Cohen. This fucking game is going to make me shoot myself. Damn it, son of a fucking bitch! Why did you pass it like that? That shit was not fucking gonna work. Every fucking time, damn defender just fucking runs us down, fucking strips us of the fucking ball. It's... Fucking shoot. Fuck it, finally. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking wasting time. I don't trust this game. Why? What you have the worst fucking pass of all fucking time? Thank fucking God. We need that fucking win. Secure our damn place on the table.
I was so fucking antsy. And it's time for the results now from the other matches. Thanks, Martin and Alan. Champions Cup. Paris Saint-Germain 2, Real Madrid 1. The Barclays Premier League. Chelsea 1, West Ham United 2. Manchester United 2, Manchester City 2. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain West Ham United with 70 points. In second, Chelsea with 63 points. In third, Manchester United with 61 points. In fourth, Liverpool with 59 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Manchester City with 50 points. In sixth, Tottenham Hotspur with 46 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, Arsenal with 42 points. In eighth, Newcastle United with 42 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, Hull City with 16 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Cardiff City with 17 points. Third bottom, Crystal Palace with 18 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fourth bottom, Stoke City with 18 points. Fifth bottom, Southampton with 22 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Yep. Fucking Capital One Cup final. All right. Get into this. Hey. Welcome to EA Sports Live Cup of the Number One Cup Final. Today it's Manchester City against West Ham United. So without further ado, we're off to Wembley Stadium. Uh, I'll Here's fucking. Tyler, and Alan Smith. There you go. Charge. Well, here we are for the conclusion of this excellent tournament, the League Cup, the English League Cup. It is now down to these two teams in the final. And uh, what a prize to play for. Yeah, big trophy these days, isn't it? Big trophy, full house. Good old West Ham. We know now for sure that other clubs are interested in him. But in the end, he still belongs to this club and he's going to play for them today. Yeah, I mean, he obviously feels the grass is greener on the other side than so. He's still in this side, and he's got a job to do for his side here. It'd be interesting to see his attitude out there. Well, just look at the conditions. The snow is now falling. Whether it will settle on the pitch, we'll have to wait to see. But it certainly could impact on the type of game that we're going to see in this fixture. So 
here we go at the final of the English League Cup. Well, it's a magnificent atmosphere within this stadium, and I'm expecting a superb game. James Tompkins. Damn it, son, it's gone. Come on, get the fucking ball back. Well, he is so, so good in the air. You can expect to see some crosses delivered to him in the match. Ah, shit. time isn't it uh, Alan in the history of West Ham with the uh, projected move to the Olympic Stadium and if that works that may be oh, come uh, on of, uh, an Arsenal and Chelsea well, they would probably believe that's the case and it's essential for them to do that to have the move for it to happen I mean it will be fascinating to see how that move goes and whether they can fill the stadium whether they've got the thread the following to do that but it is a board move for them, I think. It's a progressive one. And uh, in Sam Allardyce, they've got a manager that knows what it takes to survive in the top flight. Of course, that damn ball is fucking never bounced in my favor. You just fucking shoot faster. He rose to the occasion and saved the day. Negredo, as for the home team, they've had to uh, just make to amend a bit, Alan, haven't they? A couple of really key players absent today through suspension. Yeah, you look back at how they did get suspended. You know, it's so avoidable. Zamaleta. Fucking damn it. I might need to get fucking forward. Yeah, 
Ivan Jovetic. A decent challenge by the opponent. A nice move to get away from the defender. Can you just make a fucking defensive stop? Get up! Get fucking Christ! No, don't fucking pull back! had its first half. Here goes the second half. We're underway. Yeah, it could be trying in this pitch and going into the second half, further into it, maybe tiredness will play a part. Nobody gets fucking forward. Fine. I wonder whether they were going to get a goal past this fellow, but they have no wonder they're so jubilant. Well, he thought it had to be something special, and it was pretty good because he has been in excellent form. What a wonderful goal. And when he gets the chance, he makes full use of that opportunity with a wonderful touch. That's for the finish. Well, there was no money really there, was there? And he can. Get the fuck off my fucking goddamn defender, you asshole. Well, into a quite a dangerous position there. He read it, cut it out. Made the challenge well. He's got to be. Oh, with these footballs, he's going to hit them right in the sweet spot, and he certainly didn't that time. No, he didn't. It padded up towards the goal kick. It was a poor effort. Here's Collins. And Reed. Confident quality on the ball. Cohen. God damn it. Advantage for West Ham. 
Oh, fucking shoot! God damn it. Yes, he went over his ankle, but we all know what he's like. There's no way that that's going to force him off. And Jeff Wright up to the minute, as always. Good challenge by West Ham to get the ball back. We're going to see a substitute come on now. Nikoleda. Trying to find Jovetic. And here's the chance to get forward quickly. Manchester City are on the attack now. He is so sharp off the mark. He gave his man about three or four yards there. Still beat him. He's got space. He's back fucking fend. No, no, fucking God. Fucking Christ. No improvement, despite the physio having a few minutes to work with him on the sidelines, and they're going to have to replace him. Yeah, the magic spade and the old cold sponge. I just subbed him off. What for? Sensible. He's a valuable player, isn't he, to this team? And they don't want him out for any longer than necessary. And the referee's seen it. Handball. Substitution about to happen. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game. And they're going to try and do it with a substitute. So, that's how it's happened. I oh, fucking pushed us around like that. I should have been fucking penalty. I don't give a shit. Well, we're in the dying embers of the game, but it's still anyone's match. Giving the ball away now. Oh, he's looking quite tired out there on the ball. Richards. Game. And there's still a chance for an equaliser here. Could be a goal! And the shot's off. We've got it away. Great block. David Silva, such a clever attacking player. On. House game just trying to screw me. There you go. Fucking seals the deal. Come on! Oh, the fucking whistle! Oh, motherfuckers! 
Finally. It's their trophy. Find the whistles gone. They have won the English League Cup. Well, you can't blame them for jumping up and down because they only deserve winners. I thought they were by far the better team out there. And uh, look at the joy in their faces. Wonderful to be top of the pile in a competition. No wonder you're seeing unbridled joy here. Yeah. I think deserving winners, they played well in the final as they did over the course of the tournament. Well done, lads. Fucking Capital One Cup is ours. Classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. English League Cup final. Manchester City nil. West Ham United two. The Barclays Premier League. Hull City one. Newcastle United one. Manchester United one. Aston Villa nil.
Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. Today it's Everton against West Ham United. So here we are midway through the season and what a season it has been. They are yet to lose on their travels, unbeaten away from home. Of course, the game being played under lights this evening. Without further ado, we're off to Goodison Park. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there everybody, I'm Martin Tyler and this is Goodison Park. How do you assess this West Ham United side, Alan? Well, at this stage of the season, they are where they hope to be. In the Champions Cup position, the danger is that they tighten up and they get a little bit nervous, but uh, there's enough experience out there to avoid that. Hayden Pennyfeather is the man in control of the game. Motherfucker had like three game advantage just to take the fucking league lead. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Andy Carroll, well, he wants this season to go on and on, doesn't he? He's got 19 goals now. Oh, he's been absolutely spectacular, and uh, some of them have been uh, wonderful strikes from distance. Underway here with Everton very much in the sharp focus for this match. Andy Cap. Stephen Pino. Andy Carroll. It's back. It's their ball again. Play. That's a little tussle for the ball. That's a vital stop. Sylvain Distin. Well, there's still play here. Everton, there's always talk about moving somewhere else. But Damn it, so stadium, it. it? Well, we've been here for some amazing games, and the gantry here just shakes once the crowd get up on the feet. Look at this. He's a natural dribbler. This is the chance. Could it be? Well hit and well saved. That's gone behind it. Will be a corner for West Ham. Close. Carroll. There you go. And they've scored. And they've opened the score. I'll just the best of the fucking headers. That goal really takes your breath away. Oh, the timing of the jump and the, the timing of the header, they were, they were all perfect to, to finish off that corner. Well, that's the first goal of the game. It's 1 0. Good tackle. He is the tackler in the team. And it leads to this shot. Damn it, some of them. Stick your fucking foot out and keep the ball from going out of bounds. It ain't that hard. Well, Leon Osman stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Darren Gibson. Is 
possession in the midfield area. They can't go to West Ham if you're of a certain age without thinking of their contribution to England's only World Cup win as we speak, 1966. And the late, great Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst and Marty Peters are still around, of course, for key, key members of uh, England's success. Yeah, they were. And you're reminded of that, aren't you? When you drive in with the statue of the boys uh, on the road there, and uh, Trevor Brooking as well is a big part of the football club, so they remember the old boys. Right, went up straight away, referee blue offside. Come on, make start. That's the sort of defending that can win you a match. It was a brilliant challenge in difficult circumstances. Shoot already. to his mates. He's got it back again. He's been in very, very disappointing form. I think he's surprised that he's been picked for the start of 11 here. Yeah, well, sometimes you've just got to try and play your way through these periods of bad form. Sometimes you're not able to, but uh, he's got to keep his head up, keep his chin up. To Gibson. The defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. There's the throw in there, wasted no time at all. Osman. A timely challenge. For Kone. Congratulations to the assistant there. He's got that spot on. It was tight. It was tight, but uh, he was in a good position, the linesman. Well done. Set up. I mean, it's been a tight game. Well, West Ham leading at half time. We'll see what they're made of in the second period here. Stephen 
indicado. Yeah, like, please, I have these fucking weak ass shots. Fucking shoot! God damn! Oh, come on! It's fucking clothesline, my fucking player like that. Bullshit. God damn it. Yelovich. Showing it's a physical game when it's a fair one too, and that's a great challenge. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. It's difficult. The harder he tries, the worse the passes become. Get the fucking stop! Wait. Yelovich. Morrison. 
They've won it. Now they can push forward with numbers on the break. These motherfucking officials will not let us play the game. Come on! Never get any fucking opportunity to score. It just fucking pisses me off. That game was fucking miserable as hell. He's fucking mine. Well, that game has just uh, it's raced by, really, because we've watched so much attacking quality here. Can't take your eyes off it. No, there are several really talented strikers out there. And now we hand over to Mike West in the studio. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Crystal Palace 1, Chelsea 2, Everton 0, West Ham United 1. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Chelsea with 75 points. In second, West Ham United with 73 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In third, Manchester United with 64 points. In fourth, Liverpool with 60 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Tottenham Hotspur with 52 points. In sixth, Manchester City with 50 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, Arsenal with 45 points. In eighth, Newcastle United with 43 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Hull City with 17 points, with a game in hand on the team above. And then, reading up the table, second bottom, Crystal Palace with 18 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, Stoke City with 18 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fourth bottom, Cardiff City with 20 points. Fifth bottom, Southampton with 23 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Once again, fucking dumbass fucking English Premier League fucking schedule makers want to screw us over.
Joe Cole starring. Alright. Fuck. Oh, fuck you. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. It's West Ham United against Hull City. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. Your commentary team is Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello everyone. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith with me as usual. Welcome to, to today's game. What about West Ham? How will they fare today? Well, at this stage of the season, they are where they hope to be. In the Champions Cup position, with the injuries that they tighten up, and they get a little bit nervous, but uh, there's enough experience out there to avoid that. Andy Carroll, while well, some people get to 20 and think their job is done, I don't think this fellow comes into that. Can uh, add to that maybe 25 could be within reach. Yeah, I think so. Why not? He's got enough games left to uh, add significantly to that talent. And the man who is going to referee the game today, Gavin Mansfield. Underway through West Ham's kicker. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Liverpool. Two minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Could be dangerous. God damn it. David Myler. Resilient. a very crisp challenge there. Cohen. News of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Sunderland. And it goes for goal. For Sunderland, they've uh, got a goal there. Alan McAnally was your man. Just uh, coming across us to talk about it. Quite time to do that, Alan, but we don't give you that much time, do we? But the home team did... Got to give a free kick. It's a dangerous uh, challenge, so it's got to be a free kick, and the referee letting them know that. Two mistakes. We know now for sure that other clubs are interested in him, but in the end, he still belongs to this club, and he's going to play for them today. 
Yeah, I mean, he obviously feels the grass is greener on the other side, but uh, he's still in this side and he's got a job to do for his side here. It'd be interesting to see his attitude out there. Challenge and the ball broke through. For a long time, Hull City, the biggest metropolis in England, without having a team ever in the top flight of English football. Well, they managed to change that under Phil Brown, had a couple of seasons in the Premier League, then went out of it and seemed to head for oblivion. Yeah, they've got a good catchment area, though, haven't they? And, uh, they're out on their own up on the northeast coast and uh, remember those home games in the Premier League it generated a good atmosphere they'll need that again this time go goal here's the shot the oh cock the ball fuck confident defending but it's done the job down it Joe Cole some potential in this move and then with a challenge See if it works or not out there. Good movement to get to it. Tom Huddleston. Get the fucking ball. Game will not let me cut back. Faster. Good 
second half to start. God damn it, get on the bugger ball. The header there has gone straight to his team and the kick will have moved going well. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInerney. It's the second goal for Liverpool. 48 minutes played, 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Referee sees that as a foul and it is a free kick. Downing. Joe Cole, Sagbo, and Gavin Mansfield is going to have to intervene here. Cohen, he took her just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. Now from our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. Oh, horrible injury to the shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. So, but uh, he's tough and I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. It's Cohen. Davis. Get the ball. Go Dutch. Jake Livermore. That's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. It's looking good, this move. David Myler. The move's taken from them. They've lost it now. That's very well read. And that's a very good interception. And they're coming out. He's into the challenge. Oh, look at that. He's pulled a muscle. Down it. And it's not time. Very good defending. Get in the way of that. Oh, he's fucking in. I swear. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Yes, it looks like it's a calf problem. He's feeling it at the moment, but he hasn't asked to come off. Cheers, Jeff. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. He committed himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Goal news from Crystal Palace. It's the second goal for Crystal Palace. 66 minutes played. 2-2. Thank you very much, Alan. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInerney. It's a third goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Danny. That's his second today. He'd hit a decent shot that came back off the woodwork right back to him, giving himself a second chance with an easier finish. 70 minutes played, 3-1. Cheers, Alan. David Myler. Gotcha. It's going to be a 
be a substitution here for the home side. Gone in strongly. Andy Carroll. Downing. Lucinia. Oh, dispossessed. They could be in trouble. There's the ball in. Real concern for the defender. Just happy to get it away. Nervous, really. Here's the shot. Good reflexes by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort. Ah. Well, this player has been out of touch, but he's going to start the game. Fucking, I need to fucking stop. Hoping that he'll come out the other end of this four and a four. Oh, muscles go for that player. We're going to get changes from both teams at the same time, I think. Promising build up until that challenge. Well, they need their supporters in this situation, I think. They're holding their lead, and the fans are doing their best to encourage them. They are, but I think they're a bit nervous because they've sat up a bit, inviting pressure. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Yes, I have to say there's some concern on the bench here because he's feeling his hamstring and they're not sure how long he can last. I think the physio is going to keep an eye on him. Cheers, Jeff. The defenders come in well here. Time is to approach and got the ball. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. James Chester. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Livermore. The defenders come in well here. Timed his uh, approach and got the ball. Didn't hesitate, did he, with that challenge? Brady. Tom Huddleston. Well, they're in a good position here. Promising build up until that challenge. Strong tackle to break up the play. Maiga. Morrison. That's top, top tackling. He's really strong in that area. Oh! Good reflexes by the goalkeeper. Powerful effort. Mahiga. Sure could it be? He's hit that perfectly. And the keeper's done well to keep it out. Why does every damn goalkeeper gotta be prime boot? It makes no sense to me. Referee has called a halt here. And it has finished in the end. One nil. Hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we have. Well, now it's time for the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Arsenal 2, Swansea City 0. Cardiff City 0, Fulham 1. Chelsea 0, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Crystal Palace 2, Southampton 2. Liverpool 3, Sunderland 1. Manchester City 3, Aston Villa 0. Norwich City 2, Stoke City 1. West Bromwich Albion 0, Manchester United 1, West Ham United 1, Hull City 0. So what do those results mean for the league table? At the top of the table remain West Ham United with 76 points, with a game in hand on the team below. In second, Chelsea with 75 points. In third, Manchester United with 67 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Liverpool with 63 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Tottenham Hotspur with 55 points. In sixth, Manchester City with 53 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, Arsenal with 48 points. In eighth, Newcastle United with 43 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Hull City with 17 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Stoke City with 18 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, Crystal Palace with 19 points. 
Fourth bottom, Cardiff City with 20 points. Fifth bottom, West Bromwich Albion with 24 points, but only behind on goal difference. Ah, uh, swears. Premier League fucking schedule makes me gonna make fucking average. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Premier League. It's West Ham United against Southampton. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. Can they do that? The game calls under floodlights this evening. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. We're coming to team Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. It's West Ham United. We're all having a good look at now. It's been an amazing run of form last ten games Martin. It really has and we're coming to that really delicate stage where if you can continue that, you set yourself up for a really exciting end to the season. But if you fall off, then you're going to end in disappointment. Ashley Boroughbridge is the match official today in charge of this game. Andy Carroll. While some people get to 20 and think their job is done, I don't think this fellow comes into that. If he can uh, add to that, maybe 25 would be within reach. Yeah, I think so. Why not? He's got enough games left to uh, add significantly to that talent.
it should be a tremendous game and uh, here we go. Go on. Shit. So the potential in this move, Morgan Schneiderlin, Collison, Fox, it's time to put interception in his own defensive zone, out of the line. It's an interesting time, isn't it, uh, Alan, in the history of West Ham with the uh, projected move to the Olympic Stadium? And if that works, can they be regarded as a club at the level of uh, an Arsenal and Chelsea? Well, they will probably believe that's the case, and it's essential for them to do Oh, that. I won the so fucking physical battle. Now stop being fucking pushed around all the fucking time. To the Olympic Stadium, what do you make of it? I think it's, it's a canny move by West Ham. The owners have done well to to get a, a brand new stadium for relatively uh, cheaply, you might say. Um, so it's whether they could do it justice, I suppose, whether they could fill it first and foremost. I think they've got to be successful to do that. I think the manager is delighted with this close run that they're on the home team. Got, uh, 12 points in the last five league games. Even sort of game that we got in the uh, reverse fixture when the team that's at home now won an absolute thriller. Uh, amazing. It was. Remember it vividly. And it could have gone either way at times during that match. And as you say, let's hope for anything like the same and we'll be in for a feel promising build up until that challenge. Hey, it's fucking future fucking West Ham player. James Ward Browse. Shit. Hi! Can we just not have chaotic fucking bodies like that? Just fuck up my controls. Checking back on the stats for the visitors, Alan. Six points from their last five league games. It's over impressive, isn't it? No, it's not. And uh, they look back on those five games and, and think of where they could have done better, much better. There's a chance. Takes the shot off. It might be needed again, the goalkeeper. He's got the ball. Gets his foot in there. Jack Court. Jack Rodriguez. It's a good challenge by West Ham to get the ball back. Jack Court. It's presented to the player by the opposition. Morrison. The Vinicius. Clever player, particularly in the penalty area. That's how he gets his chances. Got good hands, this goalkeeper. That's a good save. Schneider. 
Come on. Yeah, it was a wonderful opportunity, but uh, looking back on it afterwards, they can have no complaints. Maiga. Good spent. The defenders just managed to do with that. Snagger. Morgan Schneiderlin. Crosses in. The defenders done very well there to stop the cross. Circumstances for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can work the keeper there. Has to be a way team. A couple of really significant absentees. Yeah, yeah, one or two players that uh, the manager would ideally want on his side. But this is this is football, Martin, in the modern day. You get these injuries. And it goes, Shoot it, God damn! Come on! Keeper makes a save. Bye. Morgan Schneiderlin. In this move, and he can take possession in his own half. The Minisys. Maiga. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Half time, and very well matched in every respect, isn't it? With the well, West Ham fans, a good voice at half time, having seen a good first half performance from their team. Second half underway. Spence. Just a case of mistiming the tackle. He just didn't seem to get he, his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. Jordan Spence. He's played that nicely with a, a dink upfield. He takes the shot. Oh, he's got a block in there. In quickly, and Reed. Well, the away team come here having drawn their last two games, which shows a contextual streak, but maybe not quite the winning mentality that they need. No, but to wonder whether a draw here would be satisfactory whether they take that there. Yoshida. A substitution for the away team. Sharp. Maiga. Here comes the cross. He's playing at the moment with a cigar on the defender because the opposition aren't working him hard enough. Maiga. Fucking Christ, pass earlier. Shooting in, come on! That's run out of play, oh. necessarily, really. Well, they're a goal up, and now they've got a corner here. Well, now they're behind, they've got to try and switch things around, and here comes a substitution. And here's the header, and that will run through for the goalkeeper. He's being challenged now.
save when you die, then they might have to take him off. I reckon the assistant has got this absolutely right. And how does he do that with a naked eye? We've got the replay. No, oh, he sees this later tonight. He'll be delighted with his uh, reactions, his decision. It's a clever part of the football, isn't it, to back heel the ball like that? There's some potential in this move. Now, we kick against Southampton. Is that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Yeah, it was a, a forwards tackle in many ways, a poor one. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. God, fuck, damn it. Three. Spence. Hell, the I'll put fucking it. I don't give a shit. on from the sidelines but no it is the move that we expected from the manager whose team is trailing to get an extra potential goal getter into the team yeah he's a good player this lad and if he gets a chance i'd fancy him to take him and there you go no tapping three mil And 
four mil. It's been an excellent performance and another goal to just confirm that. Well, it's gone to both, but all the players, not just the strikers, so it's a, a good opportunity that doesn't come along to us. And the score now reads four nil. Well, it's a 90 minute match and there's only two minutes to go. Werner. Well, this could have ended his game. He seems to have pulled a muscle. That is a tackle and a half. Right, here you go. Victor Waniyama. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. The referee blows. There you go. I got fucking focus. So it's full time with the final score, four 0 I'll leave you the full match highlights and until next. And it's time for the results now from the other matches. Thanks, Martin and Alan. The Barclays Premier League. Manchester City, 1. Stoke City, 0. West Ham United, 4. Southampton, 0. Why didn't you tell me about your That's fucking contract length then? At the top of the table remain West Ham United with 79. You didn't say a fucking peep about it. The team below. In second, Chelsea with 75 points. In third, Manchester United with 67 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Liverpool with 63 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Manchester City with 56 points. In sixth, Tottenham Hotspur with I hate 55 people. points. In seventh, Arsenal with 48 points. In eighth, Newcastle United with 46 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, Hull City with 17 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Stoke City with 18 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, Crystal Palace with 19 right, points. Motherfuckers, just expect fucking five-year contracts for some bullshit. I had no idea this is going to be a fucking issue. But only behind on goal difference. Fuck off.
All right. I'm gonna go out there. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the FA Cup quarterfinal. Today, a real London derby for you as Tottenham Hotspur make the short trip of West Ham United. So without further ado, we take you to West Ham. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. For the FA Cup, we are now getting closer to that big occasion, that global occasion, the final itself. But we are at the quarterfinal stage and these teams will be thinking, win this and this could be our year. No matter what you say, there's still a special magic attached to this competition. And uh, the quarterfinals, we've made a huge game for anyone. Well, it's quite an edge, isn't there, I think, to the rivalry between these two teams. But we're going to see a match of real passion as well as skill. And the man who is going to referee the game today, Gavin Mansfield. Sixth round of the FA Cup, the quarter-final stage, and here we go. Yeah, we've seen some wonderful ties down the years in this competition. This one could be pretty similar. The Minutes. Looking good, this move. Promising build-up until that challenge. Green. for the ball. Oh, the ball. Lewis Holtby. Oh, shit! Why did it not fucking get it away? I was hitting the fucking clear button, and it wasn't fucking clear. It's an interesting time, isn't it, uh, Alan, in the history of West Ham with the uh, projected move to the Olympic Stadium? And if that works, it's going to be a goal, surely. Could it be? Fuck. It. And the keeper did well to get down to it. Fuck off! Each 
His situation, isn't it? Looking for a goal. Here's the chance to get it across. Well, they have no help from my fucking teammates, of course. Kyle Walker. He's got the safety factor in his mind for his team with that piece of defending. Could be dangerous. Everything could be fucking offside. I swear. How the fuck do you expect me to have any offensive production then? Get the fuck out of the way! I fucking swear! I feel like killing someone today. This fucking goddamn match. Here we go, Alan, for the second half of this FA Cup quarterfinal. Yeah, one or two players I don't think lived up to the billing, certainly didn't live up to the hype going into this match. He committed himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Y'all fucking make runs when I can take advantage of it. Ain't that fucking hard. Somebody get fucking open. God damn. All the fucking time! Fucking block! 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 That's all we're fucking good at! Dangerous moment! 
Hold on. Shoot it. Fuck you. Finally. Here we go. Just have to be a sweaty goal from now on. That's the only way I can score. These fucking stupid goddamn CPU defenses have to be prime Maldini all the time. Every fucking time, gotta have three or four fucking defenders on my ass. It's how I expect to have any offensive production. Approach and got the ball. And Gavin Huntsfield is going to have to intervene here. Refs allowed them to take the quick free kick. And that's good support as they build this attack. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Can either side find a winning goal in these circumstances? They've battled away each other for some time now when it's been level. The Vinicius. Come on. There. 
Oh, hell yeah! Go on a fucking run! Challenge Cup quarter final Liverpool 2, Reading 0. Manchester United 4, Blackburn Rovers 0. West Ham United 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. The Barclays Premier League Everton 5, Cardiff City 1. Hull City 0, Manchester City 1. Swansea City 2, West Bromwich Albion 1. Don't fucking care about international boy. And now you can score, but I'm not in control.
Fuck. We go right out to him. You know what? Right out the volume XO. Find some damn WF No Mercy. Yeah. I'm XO. A wrestling streamer. I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. And glory to us.